All right, guys, so today we're going to be spatchcocking a chicken. To spatchcock simply means to split open. It means taking a bird and splitting it open. And the way we're going to do that is by removing the spine of the chicken. So the first thing you want to do is you want to lay the chicken out, lay him flat. You want a heavy duty pair of uh, meat shears or heavy duty pair of scissors. And we're going to run along the spine on either side of this chicken just like this. Some chickens are easier than others. And we're just going to cut. We're just separating the rib from the spine. One side, then the other. All right. So there's your spine removed from the chicken. If you're making a soup or something or a broth, you can certainly reuse that. In my case, I won't be reusing that, so I'm gonna throw that away. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spread this chicken open. We're gonna turn it over. And just as if we were performing CPR, we're gonna put the palm of our hand right on the bone, right, in the, right on the breast, take our other hand and push down. And you will hear that snap. Don't know if you heard that. That snap was that, that plate in the chest cracking open. And you can now see how flat the chicken lays. This is what we want. All right, so we're gonna turn it over. If you wanna do any trimming, now is the time. I don't get too crazy. I'll trim a little of this. If you're the type of person that wants every bird to look like a competition bird, you can feel free to spend as much time as you'd like here trimming all this out. For us, this is just dinner. This isn't a competition bird. I don't get too crazy. I trim a little bit of the loose fat, a little bit of any loose skin that might be hanging. And for me, this is good enough. This is actually a fairly clean bird. So we're gonna flip it back over Next step, guys, is super important. We want the skin dry. So we're gonna take a paper towel. We're gonna get any excess moisture that is on the skin off. It has to be dry. If you don't dry this, you're gonna have a soggy skin. It's hard to get a bite through skin on spatchcock chicken cooked on a pellet grill like this, like we're cooking it. But to get all the moisture off it is definitely gonna help quite a bit. All right, so once we have it dry, we're gonna take a little bit of duck fat. This is the one I use. Any duck fat will do, I'm sure. This one's a spray. I'm gonna spray some duck fat on this bird. I'm gonna work that in. This will act as a binder for the rub. All right. All right, it's ready for rub. Since it's a family show, I'm just gonna let you read the name of the rub that I use. This is what I use. I've used a lot of different rubs. I have found this one. Cricket doesn't like anything hot. This is not hot. It's mild, terrific flavor. You can really taste it through the cook. It's my, one of my favorite rubs. Available on Amazon, by the way. So we're gonna take our rub and we're just gonna generously apply it to this guy. Make sure you're getting in all the cracks and crevices. We'll work some of this in with our hand afterward. Don't miss any part of this, very important. All right. 
All right, once you're satisfied with your rub, and again, guys, be generous. I'm liking what we have here. We're gonna put this guy on a wire rack. If you don't have a wire rack and you wanna go directly on your grill, you can do that. I prefer to have it on a wire rack, makes it easier to handle. All right, now that we have this bad boy all dressed up, we're gonna put a temperature probe in this chicken. And what we wanna do here is, this is a remote probe. I wanna go into the meatiest part of the breast. So I'm just gonna go straight in, angle it down, right about there. I'm gonna plug this in, and what this is gonna do, it's going to send temperature and cooking time right to the remote. So I'm gonna turn these on. And you can see that it's showing the internal temperature of the bird to be 48 degrees. And that's exactly what I have, 48 degrees. As long as those two are in agreement, your probe is working. Let's go fire up the pit boss. Once our pit boss ignites, we're gonna set it to 250 degrees. We've got smoke. And while the pit boss is heating up, we've got that rub sweating into the chicken. Always a good idea to put that rub on, then come out and start up your smoker. This way it gives that rub a chance to sweat in. It is normal for your pit boss to smoke heavy like that, that white smoke. You don't want to put your chicken on while it's smoking this way. You don't want to put any food on while it's smoking. But once you hear that igniter start to blow, as it just did, you'll notice that white smoke will start to dissipate. So at this point, you can see most of that smoke has gone away. We're gonna close the pit boss. And we're gonna set it at 250 degrees. And we're gonna let that heat up. All right, let's go get this on the smoker. So the last time I used the pit boss, we cooked some burgers on here and that's some of that grease burning off, which is okay, that's fine. We're gonna set the first probe on the grate. That's gonna give us the temperature of the actual smoker. And then we're gonna take the whole wire rack. And we're gonna set that bird right in there. It's running at 265. Once it settles, it'll come down to about 225, 250. I have it set at 250, and we're gonna close that up. Another concern is these little pop-up thunderstorms that we're getting all over Central Florida right now. So, it starts raining out there, we'll be out there with an umbrella. Let's hope we beat it. All right, we've been cooking for about, um, I would say about 40 minutes. We have an internal temperature of 100 degrees, 102 degrees. We're gonna take some of this spray butter. This is parquet, and we're gonna spray that skin. See, we got nice color to it. Don't be afraid. Spray it well. Give it a nice coating. Spray it well. All right, we're going to cover that back up. See these guys? They're very happy. They're not the one on the smoker today. But these are my chickens that give me my eggs every day, so I can't complain. All right, so our cook time is just over an hour now. Our internal temperature is 135 degrees. And we're gonna give this another spray with our butter. It's looking real nice. This particular chicken is cooking fast. And they'll sometimes do that. Sometimes they'll cook faster than at other times. A lot of variables. The amount of moisture in the chicken. This one is cooking pretty quick. So we're at 135 internal. We gave it another good spray on butter. We're going to bring this up. We're going to bring this up to about 145. And then we are going to put our sauce on it. We're going to sauce it. All right, guys, so our internal is 147. 
cook time. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. It's time to put on our barbecue sauce and rotate this thing 180 degrees. So first thing we want to do is we want to turn it. Just going to completely rotate it around just like that. And now we want to sauce it up. I'm trying to do this one-handed guys. So we want to put a nice coating of barbecue sauce on there. And what we want to do is we want to tap this. We don't want to so much um, brush it on or we're going to disturb all of our rub. So just kind of tap it on. Make sure you get everything. Sure you get it nice and wet. If you want to brush it on, you can. I am disturbing the uh, rub a bit, but like I said, this is not a competition bird. This is family dinner. So don't be afraid to pour it on. Now we're going to let her come up to 165 degrees internal. All right, so we got 165 internal, which means the chicken is cooked. Cooking time, one hour, 44 minutes. That's, that's a little quick. Sometimes uh, two hours, sometimes two hours and 15 minutes. Let's see what we have. So that is looking awfully good. Let's get it in the house, let's cut it up. All right, and this is what we have. You can see it took about um, an hour 45 total from the time we put it on till the time the internal hit 165. So the way I like to cut this up, I use a cleaver. And you can see how tender this is. Just get right in there. I like to chop the thighs. You can see that squirting juice, literally and then right down the middle. I took the skin with me. But that's the way I like to cut it. You can see that's nice and juicy, leaking juice. So we're gonna get eaten. And this is how I make my spatchcock chicken. Juicy, tasty, delicious.